Um, kind of extrude it. I, I picked the wrong axis. I just want to make sure I'm extruding it the right way here. Get some divisions on it. Get it nice and flat. Uh, probably don't need it this thick. Let's go for something like that. Um, and then get those spheres on that model, but don't attach it. You know, if you got four of these things, then get four of them there. I'm not gonna like do the, the, the floating geometry or, or, and stuff like that to, to pretty these things up right now because I, I just wanna do this quick, but I'm gonna give you just a few of these guys that, you know, if you're if they're lined up kind of like the way you have them there like that. Okay, no, don't clone it. Just gonna combine this guy together here and we can do a deformer on this whole shape now. Do like a bend. And it's got kind of like a, you know, something like that probably going on a little bit more too. You know, I actually might need to do like two deformers on this thing. You know, one deformer to kind of bend it to get like the arch here to get that going. I might need to bend it once that way, delete my history, and then load up another deformer to actually load up another bendature going on right here, but then curve it this way so that it's um, so that's curving the model. Actually, I might have I might have wanted to do it the opposite direction, like or the opposite order of that. And this whole thing's pr this whole thing needs to like have an angle like that going on to there. So maybe something like this is happening. And if I take this shape right here and kind of chop it too. Just attach that and try to chop it off. I guess that didn't work. Oh, I got the interior here too. But, you know, it, you're moving the shapes together, but they can definitely be separate shapes. Just using deformers to get things in the right way. Kind of give it a little bit of a something like that. I think I stretched this thing a little bit. I mean, I understand, uh, you know, your time frames. Things are going to get hard this month. They're they're always hard for everybody. This is one of your final portfolio pieces, though, and we don't want you taking this class lightly. We want everybody to to have their best work here because this is this is one of the ones that's going to go on that final portfolio and show your show your your work, show your quality to this thing. Offset here, kind of offset it in. Let's get softer. Give it a thickness. Kind of soften it up. So do you think the bill needs to be like a separate piece then or something? 
Yeah, is it? No. no. Don't, yeah, don't make these pieces attached. That's, that's been the whole thing here. Okay. This, these are, these are not shapes that are going to be snapped together in any way. They, they are definitely going to be separated shapes. And that, that separation is going to make the model look better. It's not just about, like, if you guys are kind of built up to, to do, like, these seamless models from, from, like, the computer animation beginning of all your class here. But that's not, you know, things only need to be seamless like that if, if you're going to animate it and, it and it needs to deform. It doesn't have to be that way for you guys. Now, these guys, I think, you, you know, you need to have some floating geometry on there, you know, get it nice and flat. You know, put the floating geometry on there when it's nice and flat so it all deforms together. And then these guys will look like separate shapes. But even if you do something like this, I'm not going to hate you for it. Um, you know, if, you, if you're just intersecting things, the idea still gets across there. So if I do it just like that for the high res, then it'll be okay. We're not. I'm not going to get the crease of separation, so the model's going to, you know, it's not going to look the best. But you know, there are there are suggestions that I have for you guys that are artistic, and then there's suggestions that are more mandatory. Your proportions need to get worked on. That's a mandatory thing that I'm going to make for you. But as far as crease of separation goes. It's not something I'm as concerned about as I am with uh, with your proportions. 